G'day YouTube, it's Turbo Tristan here and today we're back in the garage getting things ready to put the engine back in but before we do that I thought I'd let you in on a little surprise I did a thing So yeah, I did a thing, I painted the engine bay and yes that is fluorescent pink um, I've gone with a 80s, 90s theme on the engine bay. The rest of the car is just as it was. Um, the reason why I did that is a couple of reasons. It brought back some cool memories of when I was an 80s and 90s kid growing up. I just really love the bright colours. Um, I wanted something that would pop on film whenever I open the hood. So it's just going to be... An absolute nightmare of fluoro colours, but I think it's going to look really, really cool. The reason why you're only seeing this now and I haven't uh, filmed the whole process is we kind of made a day of it. Me and my missus, we got out here together and she was helping me scrub and sand and pull things apart. She helped take the guards off. She helped do all of that, which was really, really good. She doesn't like being on camera, so I respected that. And we got in and we did a bit of work together. And it was just a great day for the both of us. So we did that and we painted the bay. So here it is. Hope you like it. Now I need to put everything back together, put it all back in. I've pulled apart the suspension. Um, I've also replaced the lower ball joints on the knuckles and I've got some camber arms there. And I'm going to go and get some new brake pads because these ones are absolutely destroyed from the track day. They got really, really hot and just started to crumble. So they're gone. All this is apart. So I'm going to start by putting things back together in the engine bay. So I'm going to do the honed brake booster delete kit and that's going to go there. And I've also got a S2000 clutch slave cylinder or clutch master cylinder to go in there. So tidy up the engine bay. We're going to try and figure out how to do a bit of a tuck and run some of the wires along here for the headlights just to keep everything nice and clean. But yeah, I've made a massive mess. So let's get into it. So apologies, the battery died during the time lapse, but I managed to get the honed 
brake booster delete kit setup and also the S2000 clutch slave. I worked out what one of my issues was at the track. This hose here had a very small hole in it and it was leaking. That managed to probably get rid of most of my water at the track, if not all of it, and cause the car to overheat. So it was really just that. Looks like I didn't need to pull the whole motor out, but I was always gonna swap it over anyway. So it's done now. New hoses, new silicon hoses for that. So they should last quite a long time. They are the original 20 year old hoses. And there you can see the honed kit looks really nice. I didn't do a how to install on the honed brake booster delete pretty much because there's quite a few different videos already online about it and they're really really good I can't outdo the other guys that have done it so I suggest if you're fitting one type in the search bar honed brake booster delete there's plenty of videos on there to show you how to do that these guys are local they're in Melbourne I've met them a couple of times at the track really good really knowledgeable uh, really smart guys and they absolutely love their Hondas so I wouldn't go anywhere else for a brake booster delete. The other reason why I didn't film it is because most of the time it's you on your back underneath the dash groaning, screaming, being in all sorts of agony and it's just not fun for anyone. It's quite easy to get to it, it's quite difficult. It's definitely a two person job. I had to get my missus to help me just by holding everything in place so I didn't drop it. I uh, didn't push it back out and so I could get the nuts threaded. Um, but that's all in. It'd be interesting to see what it drives like uh, with no booster. Instant pedal. Hopefully I don't headbutt the steering wheel or put my head through the windscreen uh, due to having awesome, awesome brakes. I do have access to some Integra calipers, which means I'd have to upgrade my brake rotors to Mini Cooper ones, or Prelude, or CRV, or something like that. There's a couple of different kinds. I think what I'm going to do, just for budget, and as you guys know, I'm not working at the moment, so I might just buy a set of Ultimate pads or something similar, and just chuck in there and just keep going on those. It's not really like I can sell my rotors and calipers anyway. They're a dime a dozen. Um, so I might just keep using them. The brakes were fine at the track. It was just the pads that were letting me down. So I think booster delete, some really high temp pads. I don't think I'm going to have an issue. I've got the braided brake lines already. We'll just keep developing the car. I still have access to those uh, larger calipers. So if these don't work then i'll just go and get some bigger rotors get the calipers and get some big pads and hopefully that should solve all those issues but we're just about ready to get the engine in um i can't put the engine in though until i get a sump bung welded onto the sump so i can run the turbo feed i have to change the fuel lines because the nut on the bottom of the fuel filter was stripped so i just had to cut that and i'll run some an line on there and that should be fine probably a bit of an upgrade i've gone with the fluoro green and fluoro yellow tow hooks out the front you won't see them from outside the car i've painted the engine mount brackets different fluoro colors and the torque mounts they're different fluoro colors as well I just really wanted the engine bay to pop. I didn't want the outside of the car to be too leery, but the under the bonnet, that's the time to play. I've still got to paint the underside of the bonnet. Um, I'm just going to probably just use up the cans of paint that I have, make some stupid effect on there. It won't really matter too much. Get that stuff welded up from Trick Fab, and then get the engine back in the car. I still have yet to paint the gearbox and then put it all back together so I can mount it in. I'm undecided as to whether I'm going to slide the engine under the car and then jack the engine back up, which is the way I removed it, or whether I go get the brother-in-law's engine crane. I don't know if I'm going to have enough room here to get it all the way up. I think me and my missus can put the motor in. We'll see. I could always roll the car out and jack the engine up and down outside that might work so to make up for not bringing you along with the engine bay painting and most of the fit up and the honed booster delete 
I thought I'd make up for it by doing a few mods. These are hard race adjustable front camber arms. I wasn't going to run these. I wasn't going to bother with camber arms just yet. I don't think the project is serious enough. But the ball joints on my factory camber arms, which are just here, are thrashed. So I thought I'll try and get some upgrades for these, but they don't really sell them. So I kind of had to go and do this upgrade. So what I'm going to do is just throw them in so I can get the car back on the ground and rolling. And I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm going to push these all the way out to the edge so that it's at as close to no camber as possible. The right side is already set all the way up. So I'm just going to do the same on the left side. So it's just a matter of grab your Allen key, loosen these off a bit. It's really awkward. So just make sure it's flush up there. That's what I'm going to do until I can get the car wheel aligned. Then it's just a matter of putting them in the spot. And then grab your 14 and do them up. And there it sits, nice and proud in its spot. I've got it tightened up quite a fair bit because I don't want them flapping around, but I've got to reassemble all of this and I'll do that when I put the drive shafts in. So just get that in there for now. Go over, do the other side. So same deal on the driver's side. Bang that in, throw your nut in. Throw your bolt in, I should say, not your nut. Sorry I didn't bring you guys along for the ride of painting the engine bay. Uh, I hope you like the colour I've gone with. It's so freaking bright, I can't wait to see it in the sunlight. I'm going to slap the guards back on, the side skirts back on, and we'll be back at it tomorrow. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. There's plenty of content coming your way. I've ordered a Turbo Smart Boost Controller, so with the new engine we can turn the boost up. Turbo Smart blow off valve. The car will properly get tuned this time, and we will see it on the dyno, and we will turn it up. Hopefully it starts straight away with the VTEC cam, and I can put a couple of running in kilometers on it, uh, maybe rip up and down the freeway a couple of times, just on the same tune it was on. Sure, it'll be running rough, but we just gotta put some kilometers on the engine so I can drop the oil and put some fresh stuff in and get it tuned. So we'll get to doing that. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. We're almost at a thousand, we're over 900 now, so we're on the home stretch. Gotta to get to a thousand, hopefully before Christmas. So make sure you share the videos. If you know anyone that likes cars, especially Hondas or old EKs, send them my videos, get them to subscribe. It will really mean a lot to me. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.